Hey guys, two to three, and today we are back playing Unturned. So, last episode we got we um, went over the tutorial, which I had fun doing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We actually got hit like 25 views on that, which is insane, insane for like my for like my typical view count. Especially seeing as um, we we were at 17 subscribers when that happened. And speaking of subscribers, we hit 19. We had 19. We were one away from the goal I had set at the beginning of, of the summer. I don't know if I ever talked about that, but I had like set it up and I had like thought to myself at least that I wanted to try to get to 20 subscribers by the end of summer. So this is the final push right here. It's like in the middle. It's at the middle of July. We have like a, I have like a month left of summer. It's super. I'm I'm really really excited. I'm really happy. I'm like I'm super pumped and and like everything's kind of falling into place like right now because we're at 19 subscribers. We're one subscriber away from that goal, and we're also like if this video gets 25 views or close to that again, we will hit our one th our um, 1,000 views, which I will little like have a heart attack and die because that's like really exciting for me. It's super exciting for me to fi hit that kind of milestone of 1,000 views. So, right now, we're going to get right into this game. So, hit play real quick. I'll hit um, single player. And we're still on PEI. What's well, PEI, actually? This is the first video I actually get. Okay, we're back. And I'm sorry. There was a little bit of like a glitch that happened. And, like, and um, the game crashed. So, uh, once again, this is not uh, this is um, early access. So, yeah, it's, it's to be expected. So, I'm going to give you a little bit of an update right here. I've been playing for a little while. I played, like, all of yesterday. And we have like stuff everywhere. I've set up this. I'm in the military camp. If you don't know, if you played, if you played this game, um, you know the military camp is where you get all the good loot. And I found my way in here. I have been making chests. I actually made, even made this some, um, this some, um, um, I think it's a metal locker, is what they called it, but it's basically a vault. It, does, it only contain. Each of these only contain like four things, but I can store a bunch of stuff in them. So that's awesome. I'm happy. I'm happy. I got. I got some extra weapons here. Which I'm gonna give you a little bit of a rundown of what I got in my inventory right now, and a little bit of what uh, I'm gonna go through this chest, this this storage chest first. So right here I have a Colt, which I'm not gonna get at, pull out right now. I actually and I have a Maple Strike, which I am gonna show off because it's really cool. So this is a Maple Strike. It's a, in a it's a weapon. It's obviously a weapon. It's a gun. It's one of the guns. I, it's a gun I found here. I should find it in here. I found it down the road at the um uh, um it's like a busted up bridge down there that I found it at. Which um that's where a bunch of military stuff is there too. Um, so I'm gonna show this off real quick. If I hit T real quick, you can, I'm gonna it'll show off all the stuff I have on it. I have six times zoom scope on it. I have um, um, a, a NATO magazine on which has um 13 bullets out of 30. I don't, I don't have anything tactical on there, but I have a suppressor on there. This is basically gonna be um, my sniper weapon because um, if I'm gonna, if I choose to show it off right right now, which I'm not going to unless I see them, um, I'll like scope out real quick and look around. Which, uh, obviously, that's um, something funny I had to throw in there, scope and stuff. That was scope. Um, it wasn't really all that funny. Okay, I'll put the Maple Strike back in there. And we have uh, a backup Desert Helmet in here and a backup Desert Armor in there. Okay. Uh, we In here we have wooden frames, duct tape, and bolts, which are all used for crafting, which we will get into a little bit at a time, but not right now. Not today. Um, we have um, f um, 60 boards, three pieces of scrap metal, a med kit, and some morphine. These two are, are really are good for healing. These two are, once again, crafting things. For crafting. And um, all of this, I, f I have... Um, everything that you see here, I got uh, by myself for, uh, completely legit and everything like that. So I also have a sleeping bag here, which is for, for respawn. If I end up dying, I'll spawn back right there. And I also have a, a, um, a fire here, which have a fireplace here, which I can just hit F and light and unlight and whatever. And right here we just have a couple things that just kind of randomly spawn here whenever you spawn back in. So I pick up some military bullets. We can pick up this um, Swift magazine. We have room for that. Okay, in, in my inventory we have a katana, always my f my favorite weapon ever. I I'm really a big fan of J of Japan in general. I am like a complete anime freak. It's like I really like Japan. I'm I'm actually have like I'm like really interested in katanas too. So in swords in general. So it's a perfect fit for me. Um, we have a crossbow here, which I'm going to show off too, because it's pretty cool. Got this crossbow. Use regular arrows. And for on it, we have we have um, an arrow. We actually have 15 extra. We don't have any tactical on it, but we have a 6 times zoom scope. So I can take out those guys from a mile away, which I will try to demonstrate real quick with this. Look at that guy over there. That was on me right over there. I'll take it out. Watch. Bam. Plus 5 experience. 
And so, speaking of which, I'll get right into that real quick. We have a bunch of experience. I've been doing a lot of, z of zombie killing. We have max craftsmen, so we could um, do craft. I have everything set up for crafting, and hopefully the next episode. Um, I have ri I have three of the four uh, for stronger mining and chopping. I have two of the four for warrior, which I use melee a lot. I have one of the... I don't even know how many that is. It's um, six, I think, if I unless I counted wrong. I have six, one out of six, for that, for marksman. Because I don't really do it that much, but I'll go ahead and invest into that because I have 35. So there you go. Now I have two out of them. Um, I have sneaky be I have three, two out of sneaky beaky, two out of endurance, and two out of survival. Which survival um slower starvation and dehydration. Endurance um, gives me greater stamina and agility, and sneaky beaky um, less aggro and noise. So yeah, and also down here I have um, one of the immunity, so I I am less um, viable to disease, and such. So let's reload this thing real quick just in case. And then we'll jump right into, we have a, a pick and an axe, which are used for mining, for uh, mining, collecting things, which you actually can use as, as melee weapons, I'm pretty sure. And they have a torch, which I'm going to switch out over here for my binox, my binoculars, um, which are self-explanatory. The binoculars are really helpful for me to like look around and I can scope things out with that. I have four bandages, four rags. I have a swift magazine here, which, are, which is for the colt, which I have a colt down here. My inventory, colt right there. I have four pieces of corn because I've been doing a little bit of farming. It's out that way, which I'll have to go look at that. And oh boy, it's turning to night. Well, at least I have something to talk. At least I have something to talk about why I do this. Okay, right here we have the swords. The sw oh, excuse her. I, I'm not good with pronouncing the, pronouncing names. Needless to say, and this one right here. This is kind of like the other one, except this one I have turned into my assault my assault weapon kind of. I have six times zoom scope. I have I have the vertical grip. I have a flash hider, and I have um some. I just reloaded. Oh boy. This the, I, I just switched the magazine from the NATO magazine to the NATO tracer. I don't know what the tracer I don't know what the difference between tracer and um the regular one is. I'm assuming that it does like it does something else. Like it has like something it does. I'm going to assume that. Which being to say so, which sometimes is not the greatest thing to do. So one of the great things about this campfire is that I can craft things with this, like that has if I go into the crafting thing over station over here. If I um hit this um fire thing, it'll use the fire as my tool here and it will make and I can like, turn like stones into um scrap metal like you saw in here. This is all made I like mined a, a giant rock and I got um scrap and I got stones and rocks which you could turn rocks into stones by crafting them in there. You get three stones for um one gr one rocks. And for each one of those, you get a piece of scrap metal. I use most of my scrap metal to make this thing. Assuming it would give me more space, but it didn't really. I think this is more secure, which I don't have anybody to play with currently. Oh my gosh. I am, like, dying of dehydration. I didn't even notice. Thanks, guys. You didn't tell me. Thanks. What kind of friends are you? <laughs> I'm kidding. I've been needing to do that forever. I th I didn't know if I had the bottles full or not, and I was praying that I had the bottles full after that one. It was like, <gasps> oh my gosh, my dying video. And I have so much good stuff here. I'm gonna just use the morphine. I'm gonna pick up the morphine real quick, and I'm going to equip that. And it doesn't really do anything special with like just morphine. It'll just give me more health currently. And I will just use the rags. I'll equip some. I'll equip the rags. Let's see, we're up to, we're up to 35 health. Cut that. Use those. We'll probably go up to um, two, 43. It only increases by five with this, with the rags. The the bandages will do 10, I think. And that kit would have would have done everything, but this is much better because it doesn't because it's like a little bit at a time, I think. I I in my mind it makes more sense to do, to just do this. Maybe it's not the greatest idea. Who knows? Who really could say? So I'm going to finish healing myself up here, and then we'll get right back into what I was talking about, which is just writing down what I have for my stuff. My stuff says all my stuffs. No, I think that might be everything for healing-wise healing in here that I have. So, yeah. Okay. And ba I just need to go back to that now. So, I have the, yeah, I have that. I have two canteens, like, I like you just saw. Um, an arrow. 14 arrows. I made a frag grenade. Frag grenades are I you are only craftable. You can only craft them. You can't find them in the world. I think. I don't think I. I don't think you can. I never have. I haven't really looked into it though. So I have a frag grenade here, which I used um raw explosive. I think, and I think it was nails. Maybe nails. I don't know. I'll have to look up the crafting recipe 
and I'll probably um, throw it up right there at the top of the screen. Um, so yeah, right there. Look at it. There you go. That's basically it. So um, yeah, so you got the flashlight there. It's torch actually because I think this is kind of British. Cut because here in the states we call it a a flashlight. Uh, we got a Colt. We got the um, eight. Uh, uh, can't speak at all. I have eight um, military bullets. I got three civilian bullets, which are basically used just to craft um to refill these magazines, which, which I'm not going to do yet because I haven't emptied one. So I have a um this is the NATO magazine I just took off. Oh, this is, that is a yawn. That is a yawn. Um, three cat cat traps. Cat cat trap. Cat traps. Cool. So yeah, that's basically that, and so yeah, that's basically that, that what's going on here. Um, I put I have actually been placing down stuff down here, like um, all these, all that is sandbags. These are all sandbags I've been collecting, and then I have um, this work light, which I need to get a generator for. I think I think I need to find a generator, and then I will be all set for that. So um, I'm gonna make a cut right here, and we'll I'll cut back as soon as it's daytime because that's better for um, recording wise and just my vision. My vision too. Oh my gosh, I just did that. Well, maybe not. I'm at the fight for my life now. Yep, fighting for our lives, guys. Fighting for our lives. The zombies automatically go for the sandbags, which is always good. It's good for me. Not so much good for um, like me trying to build up this fortification, but it's good for everything else. So as you can see there, I'm just killing them with this katana. Most zombies, this thing will one shot, but I have to hit the, these um, zombies. Twice because they had the military armor on and whatever. That's my only reason I I could find so far for it. And we have desert helmet here. Um, all of these things automatically respawn stuff um, after you leave and come back. There will be more stuff. So we're gonna go ahead, let's do this. Find the flashlight again. Flashlight. We're gonna bring it on up. We're gonna switch it to the binoculars. We're gonna put it in our hands. So we get a little bit of light. So we can shed some light on the situation. Hmm. I'm sure on the first one he used that one. Hmm. Totally original. And look, there's a zombie right there. Ooh, fun. Ooh, fun. Ooh, fun. Ooh, fun. Um, well. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's something under there. I keep. I, okay, I think I see things sometimes. Oh, desk. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A map. A map will give me a little bit of a better exp explanation of where I am. So, map right here. I don't know why you can see this, but up there in that big X is um, the military camp I'm at. If you go all the way down, if you go down to the bottom of the page, um, bottom right, right below the military camp, if you go all the way to the bottom of that map, then you go, okay, let me explain that again. If you go um, all the way down to the um, bottom right-hand cor corner, yeah, right-hand corner, you see the Summerside Peninsula, that's where actually where my base was, and I, I followed, the, I like got a car, drove up all on that road, um, all the way up to the military base, after stopping at both the farms and... Um, Montague over there. I never, I haven't gone that far really. I didn't really, I haven't really explored too much of this map yet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pull out our flashlight again, um, which I didn't speak about what I had on necessarily. Which I think I could just tell you off the top of my head. I have the, I had the full ghillie suit. So I have, the, I have the ghillie hood. I have the ghillie shirt, and I have the ghillie pants. So I have a full ghillie sh suit from in here. And I have a, um, I think I have a, a, a rucksack, I think it's what's called. I think it's called a rucksack, but it's like, it's a giant one. It's as big as the Alice pack, except the Alice pack is black. And I just wanted to keep the whole thing going. Oh, look, a cop. Well, I actually, pr I might actually end up putting that down. I'll probably grab that and put it in a chest, because the cot is just like the sleeping bag, except it looks like a bed. It looks more like a bed than a sleeping bag. It looks a little bit more homey with a cot instead of a sleeping bag. You can't pick up a, you can't pick both either of them up once you've placed them down. But yeah, this is the coyote pack. This is the one I had before when I was traveling um, over here. But the rucksack is bigger than that. So I'll get this one this other caltrop because that'll be give me a little bit more for when I'm placing down defenses because I, I need to, I I like defenses. Defenses are good for my health. I'm just be, I'm just be serious, guys. Holographic psych, it's basically an ACOG. If you know what an ACOG is, if you're like any familiar with like anything of that sort, you will know what an ACOG is. So yeah. Let's pull out the flashlight again. 
And that's my base. So, like, you see that, that base over there? That's my base over there. There's, like, three more of these. There's one on each corner. But I just decided to make that one uh, mine because it, was, it gave me a good vantage point, I felt like, for um, the zombies that um, occur over there. And I liked that over there because I, could, I was closer to the larger group of forests. Larger grouping of forests. Hey, look at another swift magazine. And a little bit more uh, military bullets. Cool, cool. This basically is going to be me looting while I do this. Basically just me looting. That's all I'm going to do right now. That's all I'm doing. I'm getting attacked by zombies too, so that's always interesting. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so I'm like super happy today. I'm really, really happy today because I went to the um, I went to the anime shop that's like right next. It's really close to my house, so, um, and so I and I got something. I got something that I really like. I'm really happy with it. And what I got, if um, you will never um, you actually probably could guess if you. I actually haven't shown off what I, my actual interest in this, but I got a link hat. Yeah, I got a link hat. It's I, I'm I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing it right here under my. It's like my headphones are sitting on top of them. It's right on top of it. It's really cool. I'm really, really happy with it. I like it. I really like it a lot. I um, I really like the Legend of Zelda series. I don't have a capture card or anything. Else I also would have shown off. I would have like played and shown up and shown that. Show my interest in that. In that way. Um, but I'm not in a position to do that because I don't have a capture card. So I'm gonna eat some corn here. Lower up, lower that, um, lower up that health. Um, lower, lower that, um, food bar over there. It's gonna drop to zero, isn't it? Mm. Two pieces of corn left. So, um, real quick, I'm gonna find a, I know I picked up, like, something. Yeah, I picked up a vaccine right there. Equip that real quick. I'll just do that. And that'll give, that'll drop down. That'll increase my health. Um, a little bit. I have picked up some vitamins, which will drop down that little bar over the, the um, toxin bar over there. Which, I don't know if I talked about it, but I thought, um, when I, last time I recorded, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I thought that what, once I hit, um, complete, once I hit 100%, you would turn into a zombie. I think I'm wrong about that. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong about that. It never happened to me. It hasn't happened to me yet. But, what I understand now, I think I understand now, is that I think that it might be like this, that, um, you have to, like, what did I just talk? Okay, I just lost my train of thought really bad. Really, really bad. Um, I think once you hit 100% on that, you will um, instantly die, because that's basically um, the va that's basically um, your disease, not your, nothing, nothing less than a, a d just disease. So, we're going to run right into here. This is the last little spot right over here is inside that garage and the last thing over there, which will kill this zombie right here, because he's a threat to my safety and health, both of those. I really need my health. I like my health the way it is, intact. It's intact, that's the way I like it. And both of those things are dead. Freaking zombies up in my space all the time. What's this? Duct tape. Do I have room for that? I do not have room for duct tape. There's always room for duct tape. I actually have a lot of duct tape over there, so I'll probably come back for it in a second. And right here we have a car jack. I don't know if I need that either. I can't pick any of this stuff up for some reason. It's because I have my pack is like completely full. And look, shells. I don't need shells. I don't have anything that takes shotgun shells. I go. I'm. I'm real. I'm the real kind here of fighter here. I have. I have um real, real guns. I take real bullets. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you prefer the shotgun, it's perfectly fine. I just think rifles are better. I'm better with rifles in real life. So, yeah. I'm better with that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah. Well, I think this place is pretty pretty much cleared out for now. Look, we did it all in one night. We cleared out a whole military base of zombies in one night. So, what we're going to do over here is hopefully no zombies are over here. Because the zombies are over here to start eating my crops, which is not my favorite thing to have happen. Because I kind of like my crops the way they are, which is intact. Uh, Okay, so this, this is what I'll do. Uh, I'll pick two of these, because that's what I do. I have, I take four of these. I, this is the way I typically go, is I take four of these corns, because with each of these corns, you'll get two seeds from them. So I get eight seeds, typically. My whole plan is typically eight seeds. And then I'll move them. I'll go to get the 
carrots over there because they got kind of ravished by the zombies not too long ago. So I have to do that. I'm just going to move it up this way. Just follow the line out this way. And then I'll show off my vehicles because I have two vehicles on me right now. Not on me. Not on me. That's not what I was going for. What I was trying to say was that I have um, two v I have two um, vehicles over there, which is a truck and a um, armored vehicle. And for what the purpose of this video, I won't be taking the armored vehicle anywhere because I, um, the armored vehicle has a way, has a way bigger um, radius, I guess. No, it has better fuel tank than the other one than we already ha um, the the truck has because it's a military vehicle, so obviously it that's what it does. That's what it does. I can't complain about it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pick these. And for the moment, I'm just going to pick up a couple of these. A couple of them. Pick them all up, really. That's what I'm going to do. Pick them all up. And what I'm going to do is I will turn all these into... I will be turning all of these into seeds. Just for the fact that I can grow a lot more like that, and uh, which food isn't necessarily a problem here for me, but with my plan that I have that I haven't really put into action yet, is that I'm going to be um, getting um, 3DB, <laughs> third degree burns. If you don't know who 3DB is, he's third degree burns. He's my friend and real life fan on YouTube, and he. Um, he will be. He has this game. He actually got this. Got me into this game. Hickey found it on Steam, and if uh, he found it on Steam, and we and we started playing it. But what I'm going to want him to do is I'm going to get him on my world. I'm going to host it. Um, I'll host the game, and get him on it when he ever comes back from vacation, and we will be playing around here. I'll pick. I'll go pick him up, and I will. After that, I will take him over here to this ga to the military base, and we'll get him all set. Because he, last time I he played with me, which was the last time he please played, uh, he we didn't get that far. And so my whole plan is that I'm going to help him get to um, where I am, which is having really good stuff. Which there's plenty of zombies here for him to kill. After I get him over to that area over there, and I'll probably set him up. And one in a, a different tower, which is probably, in all seriousness, which is probably going to be where I put his um, cot. I'll, I will go put. I'll probably place on the cot in this one right here, because this is where he will live. So I guess that's what we'll do right now. Is we will get up here, and we will go ahead and place this down real quick. So I'll go find that, turn off caps lock, and actually hit that uh, right there, the cot. Um, equip that. What we're gonna do? I don't know. Is we're gonna do. Every time. What the heck? I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad at it. I'm not really bad at it necessarily. I'm just I do stupid stuff really fa really really often. So yeah, I'm bad for I'm bad at this game then. That basically says I'm bad at this game. That's basically what I just told myself is that I'm bad at this game. And it really is. It's true. I'm bad at this game. Really really bad. I'm bad at games in general. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's there. That's where he will be. And so our next mission, our next mission, should we choose to accept it, is that we will be taking these canteens and we're going to go up over to the water, which is over that way. And we're going to... Oh my god. I swear. Better not have done that. Ugh. Ugh. Well, I'm disappointed. I heard that. I heard it. I went silent. I was like, oh my gosh, she's eating my plants. Because zombies will eat like anything defensive or anything that's like anything that's like that you place down, they'll try to destroy. Like, they'll destroy the sandbags. They'll die on the cow, on the cow traps and break them. They'll... I'm sorry, I yawned a little bit. They will eat your crops. So yeah, I'm disappointed. They kill. They they will murder your your crops, and you will never. They'll give you a little bit of a hard time. 
which lucky for me, I have I actually have a pretty stable. I'm actually pretty stable with my food source and my water source, even though I forgot to go do stuff, which is really really like me. Like, oh my gosh, stupid gamma! Oh my gosh. Thing is always trying to murder me. Like, whenever I go into my inventory, there's always something trying to pop up and freaking murder me. <sighs> well, well, why not? Why not? Just go ahead and do that to me. Well, I'm taking a med kit. There we go. That'll completely heal me now. And get rid of... And completely get rid of my... Completely, it completely got rid of my virus, too. So, yeah. That's always good. Completely emptied... Completely healed me. Uh, complete, I'm completely healthy again. And I have completely full health now. So. Ah. Oh, I have to yawn again. I don't, I don't know what my... What the, my uh, yawn count is at. But... It's a problem. It's a problem. Always a problem. I'm always a problem. And we're gonna fill up this other water bottle, and we're just gonna eat this. We're gonna just eat this. I'll, I'll eat a water bottle. Why not? Eat a water bottle up. I'm gonna just gonna keep filling this up, and I'm going to uh, completely lower my drink level to zero um, percent, so that whenever, because whenever I hit zero percent, I am done. I won't go any lower than that, obviously, because it'd be bad if it went negative. But basically, what that will do for me is that. I won't even have to worry about um, water anymore. Cool. I have three full, and I have four full, which means that oh, it's just the slots I had them in. So the axe is there. The pickaxe is there. I'm switching those back, but that's the way I always have them. And seeing as I'm not going to collect any resources right now, probably will not. If I have to, if I come around to that, um, it will be something else that I'll be doing. But basically, what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to. Um, Pull out my colt over here. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to switch my flash, my torch for the binoculars so I can get a look at that. And if it comes down to it, I will get to pull this out and I will um, wreck some people. So yeah, I got that stuff. Let's get into it. And I'll make a cut. And when I come back, I will be in my vehicle and I'll be um, driving right into, into the town, which is um, right over there. Right over that way. Um, I'll show it on the map real quick if I can pull that out. Which is, I'll equip that real quick and I'll show you. Um, I think it's um, Albert 10 over there. You can see Albert 10 is just below the old, old Leany military base. I guess, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's, I'm, I'm going to call it Old Leany military base. That right, um, below the military base is where Albert 10 is and that's where I'll be going. And so yeah, we'll have lots of fun there. It'll be lots and lots of fun. We'll kill lots and lots of zombies. And so basically it'll be um, just the the joy of, of zombie games. So yeah, um, survival and zombies, come back for that. Um, so yeah, see you then. Okay guys, we're back. Okay guys, we are back. And just for the fun of it, we're gonna run over a zombie. Ah, <laughs> zombie run over. This is the town we're talking about, I was talking about, like another zombie run over. And that's this fun, this is about the funnest thing I've ever done in my life. Running over zombies left and right. <laughs> yeah, that's the best. Oh my gosh. It just gets better and better every time. So yeah, this is this is the, my um, this is the little town I took in. I already took it. I'm just I'm just here to to exploit it for every piece every piece of material I can get. So what we're gonna do is hit F, get out of our vehicle, and then there are more zombies to kill. Now the sad thing is you do not get you don't get experience points for running over zombies, which I think you should add in. I think they should add in being getting experience points for, for running over zombies because it's super fun. Maybe maybe it's just maybe it's just a uh, a me kind of thing to do that, but I think it, I really think that you should get experience points for it because it's it's like the best thing ever. It's the best feeling ever. I'm just gonna say it now. It is the best feeling ever. Getting zombie, um, spraying zombie guns all all over of your windshield. That got really really morbid really quickly. So yeah, moving on now. Um 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 um. I'm I'm not gonna take that actually. I have plenty of guns right now. I'm not gonna grab that one. Just for the fact that I just don't need it. Picking up that stuff. I don't need that cloth. I'll probably pick. I'll pick up this mag if I need it. Just for the fact that I might need it. I'm gonna eat another piece of corn because I have the the food. I have the food supply here because I, the, um, as I made a little bit of my my goal that every single time I come to a village, 
or a place that um, I like whenever I, I like see something like this, moldy corn, which I'll probably get to in a second. I will um, I try to pick up, I try to pick up uh, whatever seeds or stuff or such I can find, and I turn it into. I pl I'm turning the seeds and I plant them so as to like give myself the best chance possible. Throw that, put that there, and what I'm going to do is I probably it's not too big of a waste just to do that. Does it take nine? No, it only turns to seven. Cool, six, and I'll take this one. Drop that one. I don't. I don't need like a bunch of these magazines sitting around with like only a couple, um, a couple bolts in it. I want like full magazines. Actually, let me. Uh, I'll pull out my Colt in a second just to see what I, what I have for that. Like what, um, what the magazine in that one has. So you just take like the moldy corn like that. It'll give you one corn seed because it's moldy. But so you can take take that and just equip it. And you come over here to like where you see grass. That's fertile soil. You just place it down like that. Whenever you see green, you can place it. So that's what you're gonna do. That's what I'm telling you to do right now. Pick up your phone. Um, <laughs> just start turning it into, into an infomercial. But wait, there's more. This one has, has um, all seven of them. So on this on this pistol, I have um, a um, red dot sight, which is just kind of just for a uh, meat kind of thing. It's a preference. So harvest some corn. It's really helpful for me to, to have this kind of stuff here, just sitting here. Because it gives me like a little bit of a backup, and it gives me a backup a little bit, so I can just um, come roll through. If I'm hungry, I can grab a couple. I can just um, grab the food and replant, and I'm good. That's basically just, it's like it's just a business plan. It's kind of like a business plan, I guess you could say, just for the fact that it's um, something I can do. It makes it easier on me. It just kind of helps me get through stuff. What the, what is this? Brand cereal. I do like brand cereal. And since there's two of them, I will grab them. Buy one. Pick up one get another one free. Mm. I'll just go ahead and grab this chocolate bar. It's a candy bar. Heck yeah. Candy bar. Equip that. To get one get another one free. Uh, buy one get one free. With brand cereal. And you know, buying it doesn't really happen anymore. So it's just free. Heck yeah. Uh, moldy orange juice. Do not need that stuff because I don't need no mold. No mold in my diet, please. I'm not. I'm not that kind of. I'm not that desperate that I need to um, eat mold for my diet. Nothing in here I really need. There's only a chef hat and a um, grocer top, which I'm quite quite happy with my set of ghillie suit. And these are more seeds. This is where I get a bunch of my seeds. Well, this is where I got a bunch of my seeds off the. Off at the beginning. Um, that and like the small town that was next to the lighthouse, which was down there at the peninsula that I was talking about. It's a lighthouse down there, which I may or may not have mentioned. So this video is actually going for a little while. It's a pretty solid video, I feel like. So we're gonna, just going to kill a couple zombies, and we'll uh, um, run down to the dock uh, and, pick, and um, get stuff down there. But for the first thing we're going to do before we head down the dock is we're going to hit up the... Uh, a thing that's along the way to the dock, which is actually I'm gonna pick up this too. Pick up some civilian bullets. I'll leave that stuff to grow, but that's just, it's pretty much just that. We're gonna kill a couple zombies. We're gonna hit the pharmacy, which is right next to the dock. So it's right over there. Ah! 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 That was weird. Just kind of came up, and I was like, I just like couldn't stop going. Ah! I am a. I don't even know what kind of bird to call that one. It's a bird. I'm a bird. I'm a bird. Buy one, get one free bird. I don't even know. See, I'm just talking out of my... I'm just talking out of... I don't even know. I'm just talking just to talk, because that's basically what my job is. Basically my whole job. Not really talking just to talk, but it's still like this entertainment job. Entertainment job. I love entertaining people, though. So it's what I love doing, so that's what's good. So, yeah. Just going to kind of run over here, attract all the zombies... Because I can take them. Typically, I can take them. Typically, it's... What the heck? Turn off the safety. We're killing them. Take that. 
Tracer. The whole red thing. Terrible aim. Heck yeah. Sniped. Sniped. I'm just blowing all the bullets on these guys. Because I just like started getting hit and I was like, mm, give up. I thought I was hitting that zombie in the face with my katana and it wouldn't die. So I just like, I like freaked out, pulled up the gun, started firing. It was game, it was, G I was about to start yelling GG. Because it was game over. It was game over for everybody. If I'm going down, everybody else is going down. Because I ain't going down alone. Just crouch a little bit, get through here. Picking up this. Do I have a room for anything else in here? I may or may not have room. Okay, adrenaline. Equip. Stabbing that in my arm. Because my arm needs more stabbing in. Morphine. We're just going to overdose on everything. Come on, guys. It's time to overdose. Overdose time, yeah. Ain't no party like a overdose party. Drug party, yeah. You. Let's not do that. Let's let's refrain from drug parties. Um, Vaccines. Let's grab a couple of those. Because they'll heal me up. Hopefully, I think they heal me. You have to heal me and drop my um, infectivity, I guess you call it. <sighs> adrenaline hype. Adrenaline. It's pumped through my veins now. Literally, both in the game and in real life. After that one, that's a Beretta. I don't have any magazines for Beretta. I don't need any more guns. That's basically my, my whole, the whole thing I got going on for what I'm trying to do. I have, they're like wooden shut. Okay, wooden door. Wooden door. What is this? What is this? Wooden shutter. I may come back for one of those. I may come back for those. It's kind of an iffy kind of th situation. So uh, you guys saw me hitting that thing in the face. I'm pretty sure I was hitting it like straight in the face with, the, with my katana, and it wouldn't die. Like, see, I'm like, I'm, like one shotting everything else. That's how I felt. I'm mad. I'm not mad necessarily, but I'm just like, ugh. I like threw my hands up. I was about to throw my hands up in frustration, like, ugh. I'm gonna freaking die. Oh my gosh. Okay, bandaging myself as I have a bandage and I can do it. Okay, I thought I was gonna hit again and I was about to freak out, but I just hit the thing. I just hit like the, I hit the lean tab, the lean button, not the lean tab, the lean button, the button I used to lean. What's in here? I don't think I'll take a take that though. A rag thing I will take though. See, I, I keep hitting it accidentally. It's not even like purposeful. It's because I reach over, hit tab, and I don't. I end up like hitting Q, which is my, which is the button I use to do that. I used to lean that way. And only up here I need because it's only a couple of those bullets. And yeah, those, that, there's like a gun right here. It's a gun right there. It's an outfielder, I think. Outfield, yeah. It's an outfield. Which is not the gun I kind of. It's not the gun I need. I used to have a couple of magazines for that, but I just don't need it. I really just don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Killed zombies. There's lots, of lo there's lots of zombie slain. I'm getting a lot of experience points. I'll probably upgrade something else in here. So I can... What did I I'd aggro? I feel like I just aggroed something. I feel like I heard that. I, th I feel like I heard that. I think I I, I think I heard something like a growl. But I don't know. I may not have. I may have just been like something. Eh. May have just be kind of just a... Mm, the wind playing tricks on me. Okay, this is what I need. This is what I needed. I needed one of those. That is going to save my life for crafting. Because what you can do with that is you can turn... Um, wooden planks into sticks with that, which I needed. Like, I cannot put words to how much I needed that, because I kept getting logs and stuff like that. And I, I needed sticks so bad. Like, I needed sticks. Sticks are not, uh, like, unco aren't, like, the most common thing that fall out of trees. I mean, they fall out of trees whenever you chop down a tree. But, like, you get, like, way more logs, which turn into four wooden planks. And with those, I can I get a lot I can make a lot more sticks. And with more sticks, I can do base I can actually craft things without killing a million trees to do it. Speak of the devil, it's a stick. Can't pick up a stick because I ain't got no room. Khakis. Mm. Mm. Khakis. What is Jake? From, what are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Khakis. She sounds hideous. Boy, he's a guy. Well, I'm just this kind of this video took a took a downward pour because I just like started quoting quoting things, which you know if I start quoting things I've run out of stuff to say.
So, um, not doing anything. We're gonna finish up this right now, which this is probably this is the last thing we're gonna do right now is um, pick up this stuff real quick, take a, a quick sip of apple juice, and probably some cola, cause it's canned cola. And uh, but here where I where I live, we call it Coke, cause Coke is cause Coke is basically everything. But I'm I'm not gonna call, I'm only gonna call it cola in this game because it says cola on it. So question of the day, question of the day, guys, question of the day. Question of the day. Um, Coke or Pepsi? Coke or Pepsi? Personally, I'm a, um, I'm a Coke guy. I don't really like Pepsi nearly as much as I like Coke. And this is a... What the heck is this thing? Metamore is? I have never had one of these things before. I don't even know what it is. Like, I legitimately have no idea what I'm looking at right now. So, I'm um, just for like the... I'm going to pick this thing right back up because I probably will not take this thing. But I'm going to pick this... I can't even lift this thing. This thing like weighs a ton then. I'll drop this then. Okay, I pick this thing up. What the heck is this? This thing freaking weighs like three pounds. This is a sniper rifle, isn't this? A seven times zoom st scope? This is totally a sniper rifle. Yep, which is, which I typically would be impressed by, which I actually kind of am impressed. I'm extremely impressed by it. But what I what, what I'm gonna be serious about is regardless of how cool that is, I I can't take that. I like my guns where they belong, which is ultimately right there. So I could trade I could trade for that. I could trade that. I could trade this for that. I really don't want to do that. But I like mine. It's a Yuri magazine. It doesn't even fit that one. I don't even have, there's no, I don't have any ammo for that. I just have ammo for the, for the guns I do have. So, um, that's basically it, guys. I'm going to run right back into over my car. We'll get in it. We'll probably run over a couple more zombies. And from there, we are just basically, we're done here. We're basically done. And so, yeah. I'm just going to start talking right here. Just a little bit of sign-off stuff and we'll, and we'll run here. So, um, uh, thank you guys all for watching. I want to, once again, um, thank you guys for giving, for, Getting me straight to, we're at 19 subscribers, I'm really happy about that, I'm super, super pumped. I think we can do it, I think we can um, get to where we, I, I think we can get to 20 subs before the end of this, 20 subscribers before the end of this um, summer. So, um, if you wouldn't mind, please um, tell your friends, if you feel if you feel interested, if you really um, appreciate, if you really want to do me a favor, you could tell your, you could tell your friends about, about me. You don't need to like tell them to subscribe or anything. You don't need to tell them how to tell them to subscribe, but at least like, tell them to like check out check it out and tell and see what they think because I really kind of I want to like have people that want to watch my stuff less or watch my stuff less just oh okay I'll subscribe just because my friend subscribed. So if um so yeah thank you thank you guys once again well and remember to um. Leave um, a like, a, com a comment, um, just tell me what you think, what's about the video, anything like that. You can shoot me a private message for anything. If you guys just want to talk to me, you guys can talk, send um, a private message. I'm, I'm like have a, a couple things that I'm actually doing with the channel that I'm planning on, that I'm planning on talking about, which there there will be an update video talking about it. So, yeah, there's a couple things we can talk about, um, and from there we will. Um, I think you guys will have a little bit of a better understanding of what where I'm at, and within the my world and. Um, with YouTube and all that stuff, and what the what I, I see as the future of the channel. So yeah, uh, once again, thank you guys all for so much for watching. I love you all. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna park the car real quick. And yeah, so see you in the next episode. Bye. -o.